Hello everyone, and welcome to another Tempest Storm Wild Meta video. We've talked about the waves decks are making in Wild in our most recent videos, and lists including Sniff Snap continue to get spicier. Whether you're playing it to take over the board on curve, to create a powerful and lingering threat, or to defeat your opponent out of nowhere, Snip Snap's got you covered. Let's take a look at a few evolving archetypes that take advantage of Snip Snap's power and flexibility. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Tempest Storm news and Hearthstone content, and to keep up to date on the latest developments in the Wild format. Now, let's get started. Warlock decks running the Snip Snap OTK combo are seeing tons of experimentation, and are shaping up to be more of a factor on the meta than the community may have anticipated. These decks each feature the Snip Snap combo. Play Summoning Portal, then Mech Warper, then attach Snip Snap to a mech minion you control, as many times as you need in order to deal lethal damage in one shot. One important thing to keep in mind is that you usually don't need to wait until you have a mech on board to set up for a one turn kill, because you can often set up for a two turn kill. Play the combo to create a board full of massive snip snaps and keep going until the rope burns out. As early as turn 5, you are creating a massive board similar to the old Naga Sewage combo. It'll be up to your opponent to figure out how to deal with it, if at all. As awesome as this combo is, the biggest development is the merger of the Snip Snap combo with other Warlock combos, giving the deck more flexible and robust options for defeating the opponent depending on the matchup. For example, let's take a look at Togwaggle OTK Warlock. Pioneered by Git Meowth and refined by Corvette, the deck features a secondary combo that can defeat slower decks that are capable of preventing or dealing with the Snip Snap combo. To win, draw your deck and assemble a hand with both Summoning Portals, King Togwaggle, and Azlina Soul Thief. Play Emperor Tharazan to discount your combo pieces, then on the next turn, play Portal, Portal, Togwaggle, then Azlina to steal the enemy's deck and copy their hand. If the enemy swaps decks with King's Ransom, you just play your own King's Ransom to steal it back, inevitably defeating the opponent in fatigue. This combo option is well suited to defeat decks like Big Priest or Odd Warrior that take time to develop and play a limited number of threats. An alternative take to the dual combo approach features Mechathune as your secondary win condition. Pioneered by Danny Donuts, this deck highlights a new approach to setting up an OTK with Mechathune. Once you've drawn your deck, instead of playing Emperor Tharazan to discount your combo pieces, you play Doll Master Dorian. Then play a Plot Twist. Since Plot Twist will make you draw Mechathune with Dorian in play, you'll summon a 1-1 copy of Mechathune. Then play Bloodbloom into Cataclysm to destroy your board and discard your hand. With no deck, no board, and no hand, the 1-1 Mechathune's Death Rattle trigger will end the game in your favor. The inclusion of Doll Master Dorian is an interesting option, even when you're playing for the Snip Snap OTK as Doll Master on its own is a potent threat if it's not respected, and playing Plot Twist with it in the mid-game can help you assemble the Summoning Portal and Mech Warper combo out of nowhere. It's an interesting take, and it's one you're sure to see on ladder more often real soon. Moving on to Mech Hunter. So combo decks are great and all, but what can you do with Snip Snap in the wild that doesn't involve playing Warlock? Well, it turns out Snip Snap is great even if you just want to play on curve and go face. Snip Snap represents a serious upgrade to Mech Hunter, which is one of the more popular aggressive decks on the ladder. Face Hunter is a classic archetype that's all about playing early threats and going face, and the current Mech version delivers with a blistering curve of Cogmaster into Mech Warper and Galvanizer to pile on minions quickly and buff them until they're out of control. Even the lowliest Mech can become a massive threat thanks to the magnetic mechanic. Since any minion with Magnetic virtually has charge, Mech Hunter is in a unique position to take advantage of the full range of Snip Snap's abilities. Played early on, Snip Snap represents a sticky threat that can enable other magnetic effects, whether your opponent can deal with it or not. When played for its magnetic effect, it represents scalable damage that can give the Hunter the burst it needs to finish an opponent off. Even if your deck is not specifically created to evolve around it, Snip Snap represents a flexible threat on its own that can fit into a wide variety of aggressive decks. An excellent example of this is Odd Rogue. And the latest list from Odd Rogue Master Menmark takes advantage of Snip Snap's potential as a Swiss Army Knife. Do you need a play on turn 3 or 4 that ensures you have a minion to buff with Fungalmancer on turn 5? Or how about a turn 6 play that lets you go wide or tall, depending on the situation in front of you? 
not to mention turn 9, when you can go even wider or taller. Since the Death Rattle effect stacks as well, summoning multiple snip snaps of any size can represent a lingering threat that can help Odd Rogue finish a game that has gone on longer than you would like. Odd Rogue is not the only aggressive archetype that can utilize Snip Snap, so keep Snip Snap in mind when building decks like this in the future. In conclusion, Snip Snap is continuing to make waves in wild seeing play, not only as a combo enabler, but also as a general purpose on curve play that can scale up as a massive threat later in the game. As the community continues to experiment even further, you'll be sure to see it and play with it more and more in the future. There are many possible decks and tactics with Snip Snap that were not mentioned here, so be sure to like and subscribe to the Tempest Storm Hearthstone YouTube channel to stay up to date with our content, and let us know in the comments what cards you'd like us to feature next. Thanks for watching.